say that the church should make this decision. That's the most important place to determine determine uh, marriage. When you think about in the Old Testament, when uh, the the God that led the people out of Egypt uh, uh, was not a king. They didn't have a king. And then when they got to the Holy Land, uh, they, uh, they had judges. They didn't have kings dictating and ruling. But the family dealt with this. And the family dealt with marriages. But they had a judge to determine this. Matter of fact, when the people came to Samuel and said, look, we need more rules and more laws. We want more government to tell us what to do. And, and we, we need more, more of this. Samuel was old and ready to retire. And he says, no, that's a bad mistake. You don't need more rules and more government. You, do, you don't need this. The government will overreact. And today, I think this is what has happened to us. We have deferred to, to, to the federal government. We have way too much government. We should go in the other directions. Before you know it, the next step, what if the next step is, wouldn't it be wonderful if the United Nations defined marriage? I don't want to go up that way. I want to go back down all the way to the family and the church. Believe me, it would be a happier and more peaceful world if we went in that direction rather than asking the government and asking the king to solve all these problems. We need the family to deal with it, and we can take our message and learn something from the Old Testament, how there was such a strong emphasis on the patriarchal society and the disputes settled by judges, rather than looking for big government. Given that we have the Perry case uh, working up to the United States Supreme Court, which would essentially say that the U.S. Constitution uh, demands the redefinition of marriage, this is the case coming out of California, for some of uh, you presidential candidates, maybe we'll start with Senator Santorum, that believe in the federal marriage amendment, why do you believe it's necessary? Well, if you look back at what happened with Roe versus Wade, we had a variety of different states through either uh, the legislature or through the courts established the right to an abortion. And the abortion movement didn't 